Here, what's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Will back in the building with another video. And today is an awesome day because today we're talking about tech. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Will. If you are new here, maybe consider hitting subscribe if you're into this type of content. If you are already subscribed to me, welcome back fam. Thank you for coming back and hanging out with me today. So I have a really dope video set up for today. As you guys may or may not know, I consider myself a LED connoisseur. You know, I have a whole bunch of different LED products. I really love the aesthetic of LED behind pretty much anything I could actually put it behind. I did a LifeX LED video, which is the strip that goes on the back of my desk. I showed you guys my setup of my Philips Hue inside of our living room. I'm a LED connoisseur. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Today, what we're gonna be doing is reviewing the Govi Wi-Fi enabled RGB strip. Me in particular, what I look for in LED strips is number one, Alexa compatible. I also consider the brightness, the amount that you can get for money these were how much were these the price for these that i paid were 26.59 i mean that's just crazy to me you pretty much get a lot of bang for buck let's go ahead and open up the box the first thing you are greeted with is this little govi little pamphlet and it basically just tells you to like and share next you get your user manual basically giving you all the information that you need how to connect it then you have your little disclaimer information which basically says if anything goes wrong it's not their fault it's yours <laughs> next you have your installation setup guide and this is a eight step installation process next thing you get is uh the five clips for installation and these have 3m sticky on it and what's really cool is they also have a screw portion which comes with screws as well so if you really want to you know stick it on there real good you have the ability to actually screw this in your wall you also get your power brick next you get your alcohol pad i think definitely alcohol pads are needed to ensure that your surface is nice dust free and clean get a ir remote they also have a controller which gives you some quick little access power on and off brightness and music mode lastly your roll of led strip now when i first opened this and looking at the led strip i was like what in the world it looks pretty cheap if you want me to be honest with you because it doesn't have a plastic sleeving over top everything here is exposed so obviously this thing is not waterproof you can cut this to your desired needs using the cutting point which is going to be these little uh, copper looking uh, cutting points which is right here Gobi sells these in a 16.4 Feet version and then they also have a 32 feet version as well which are Wi-Fi enabled now one thing with these they do not recommend that you try to cut it and then extend it I actually want to test it up against my LifeX uh, Z strip that goes behind my main desk which is behind me so we can compare the two to see how it looks and then once we compare it and test it out we're going to install it on the setup that is going to go on and then i'll give you guys a run through the app and everything real quickly another good point as well is uh, if you notice right here at the power connected point on this led strip it does not it's not removable <sighs> that was definitely a workout y'all all right, we're gonna go ahead and get it real quick. If you are curious to know which device you have, because they have all of these different smart LED strips and it's a whole lot going on over here. But on the back of this box, they do tell you the model. The model that I have is H6141. All right, so of course, with uh, any of these smart devices, you have to create an account. Uh, it seen it found it it found it real quick so we're gonna name this uh we're just gonna name it new light 
And now we gotta connect to my router. I'm gonna turn the LifeX Z strip off and then we're going to compare it to the Govi. Now my LifeX Z strip currently is set to 46%. So that is 100%. Now this is the Govi. This is 100% of brightness right now. So already I can tell that that LifeX Z strip is way more brighter than the Govi LED strip. But you know, there is a price difference. Real quickly, I do wanna, I guess, show you guys the music function while I have it set up this way versus the LifeX. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on the new spot where the new LEDs are gonna go. And then we'll wrap it up, all right. Okay, so as you've seen the comparison, um, I will say the Govi really did a pretty good job beating to the music. My personal preference, I really love the LifeX Z strip, the way that it beat it to the music, probably because it has multiple zones on a single strip. But we're gonna go ahead, snatch this off of here. I'm gonna set it up on where it's gonna go. And then um, we'll check that out and I'll go through the app with you guys so you can kind of see what you're getting. And it's still pretty bright, but it's just not as bright. So again, I guess you get what you pay for. Also, once I connect it over here, we're gonna go ahead and test it out with uh, Amazon. Then we're pretty much gonna wrap it. So let's get it. Okay, and just for reference, um, currently I'm using a $20 uh, LED strip I got from Walmart ages ago. It comes with uh, this controller. So you have a fruit few You have a few different colors, but I'm pretty much replacing this because I want something that's more Smart home capable. This is before and this is After obviously this is gonna be much brighter because I had way more LED strip I will say the 3m sticky was very good. It like stuck on it gripped and it was not budging. Okay, so real quickly, I just wanna give you guys a little quick run through of the app. So first top section, you have your light. Right here, you have your timer. So you can set this up to come on at a certain time and go off. Keeping going down, you have your brightness. That is 1% brightness and that is a hundred. You go to your DIY mode. You have the little line right here that basically shows you the colors, but the easiest way would be to use this wheel. And for making this DIY scene, I'm just gonna pick a few colors. It looks like the total you can do is eight. Then you have your styles right here. So you have fade. And if we click apply right here, you can see it's doing a fade effect on the LED strip. It's fading between the colors that I chose. We also have your speed right here. So if I slide this to uh, the fastest and hit apply, it's just whipping it and then if I make it slow then um, it's gonna go slow we have jumping so let's see what jumping does jumping basically just changes the colors without like a nice fluid color cycle mode you have your twinkle pretty much does the same thing as jumping but it looks like it's changing it faster you have your combo which you can choose between fade, jumping, and twinkle. So if I hit fade and then twinkle, then it's gonna apply those two settings and fade and twinkle. All right, moving along, you have your modes right here at the bottom. So as I showed you earlier, this is the music mode. It's just gonna use the mic microphone that's down there on the controller. And right here you have a sensitivity function and then you have auto color or you can actually choose colors as well. Right now I have it on cool white, it looks white. It's like a bluish white. And if we go to the middle, this is supposed to be a pure white. And to me, it still looks kind of purpley white. I go down to warmer white. It kind of gives it like a orangey-ish 
white color. My honest opinion about the whites, they're not that great. Lastly, we have our scenes. The first scene is movie, and this is like a bluish color. Oh, you got dating. I guess if you're having a date, it's kind of like a orangey pinkish color. You got your romantic and that just pretty much made it more red. <laughs> oh, it's changing colors. Hey, hey. So romantic is doing red, purple, pink. So yeah, it's choosing like romantic colors then you have twinkle it's using a whole bunch of different colors as you see you have candlelight so if you want to get really in the mood and get the candlelight going it's pretty much like a dim orange is what i'm seeing right here it's getting brighter then it's going back uh lower in brightness so you also have breathe and i'm assuming that it's gonna do exactly what i described about candlelit uh which it is and it is doing yellow, orange, green. Lastly, we have energetic and energetic is basically like a rainbow. Let's go ahead and connect the A word to this device. Keep in mind, you will need to set everything up in the Govi app before you can do this step. So you're gonna go to skills to connect this and then we're gonna search for Govi. You're gonna click this. You're gonna enable the skill. It's gonna have us log in. Yay, so it found it. So now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get the A word to change the color. Change new light to green. Dim new light to 50%. Set new light scene to romantic. I don't know how to set new light to that setting. It's somewhat limited to turning on and off, changing the brightness. All of my other really expensive LED lights does it the same exact way. Whew, we did it y'all. Cons, let's talk cons. So my number one con with this is it doesn't have like a diffuse shield because like I showed you with my cheaper LED strip that we replaced, it had like a little rubbery, uh seal on it is that the right word i don't really see it being a big problem but i can definitely see if i accidentally spill like coffee on it it may break another con for me is that you can't actually remove the uh the led strip from the controller yeah besides that i am very happy with my purchase i still think that my lifex z strips are worth it i will not be replacing these with my lifex z strips because they are more dope to me in my opinion now i do love that govi does include a microphone on side of the controller i really do love also that they have three different options for you to uh, use your govi led strip i really enjoyed making this video i hope that you guys enjoyed this video again product links will be down in the description if you want to check any of the strips out that we talked about today but thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i'ma holla at y'all next week in my next video deuces